Life expectancy among humans has only ever been increasing. The world average human lifespan increased by about 30 years since 1955, according to a 2017 United Nations research study. And a lot of that has to do with scientific and technological advancements made by the world's curious pioneers who asked the question, how can we make this better? From seatbelts to genetic mapping, it's no wonder we're living longer than ever before. But surely some inventions did more heavy lifting than others along the way. Obviously, saving lives is its own reward and being a good person isn't a competition. But if it were, these folks would win. So join us as we honor the top eight inventors that saved the most lives. Benjamin Rubin inventor of the bifurcated needle. The bifurcated needle is a simple design, but most effective and an extremely important development in the history of health science. Dr. Benjamin Rubin started working on a design for the bifurcated needle in 1961 at the Textile Machine Works of Reading, Pennsylvania, as a more efficient alternative to the traditional jet injector method. The story goes that Dr. Rubin created the first prototype of the device by grinding down the needle of a sewing machine until the eyelet of the needle became two prongs. These prongs could hold a bit of the vaccine between them, and when tapped on the skin, the vaccine would be delivered. This would be done about 15 times total until a full dose was delivered. The invention proved not only efficient, but much more cost-effective as well. The new invention was key in the eradication of smallpox, the first ever eradication of an infectious disease, since up to 100 vaccinations could be given from one vial of vaccine. The bifurcated needle is still used in vaccine delivery to this day, and it is likely that it has saved the lives of upwards of 100 million people as a result. John Lang Leal, inventor of water chlorination. Dr. John Leal was responsible for implementing the first disinfection of a U.S. drinking water supply using chlorine. A physician who spent most of his life as a medical doctor, Leal was one of the expert witnesses for a pair of trials that examined the quality of the water supply in Jersey City, New Jersey in 1908. The verdicts approved the use of chlorine to disinfect drinking water, which led to an explosion of its use in water supplies across the U.S. Water chlorination works by adding chlorine or chlorine compounds to water, which will kill certain bacteria and other microbes since chlorine is highly toxic but safe for humans in small amounts. In particular, chlorination is used to prevent the spread of waterborne diseases such as cholera, dysentery, and typhoid. Later in his career, Leal became the city physician of Jersey City, the sanitary advisor for the East Jersey Water Company, and the president of the Board of Health for the city of Patterson, New Jersey. Recent estimates say that water chlorination could be responsible for saving 175 million lives since its first implementation. Alan Matheson Turing, inventor of the Bomba machine. The brilliant scientist and mathematician Alan Turing is a legendary figure in the recent history of the world. From his development of theoretical computer science, to the creation of the Turing machine and the Turing test, to his time as the head of the Government Code and Cipher School at Bletchley Park, Britain's code-breaking center that produced ultra-intelligence. It was here that Turing developed the Bomba machine an electromechanical machine of his own design that was used to decipher messages from the Nazis during World War II. These code breakings were pivotal in helping the Allies secure victory in many battles, including the Battle of Atlantic, the longest continuous engagement of the Second World War. It is impossible to say exactly how many lives were saved, but experts tend to agree that Turing's Bomba machine shortened the war in Europe by at least two years and prevented it from escalating and expanding further. Alexander Fleming, inventor of antibiotics. Sir Alexander Fleming was a man of many talents. As a biologist, he discovered the enzyme lysozyme. As a writer, Dr. Fleming wrote many articles on bacteriology, immunology, and chemotherapy. 
and most famously as a microbiologist and pharmacologist, Fleming discovered the world's first antibiotic substance, benzyl penicillin, better known as penicillin G, for which he shared the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1945 along with his cohorts with Howard Florey and Ernst Boris Chain. Antibiotics are a subset of antimicrobial substances that don't merely clean, but actively fight against bacteria. Antibiotic medications are widely used in the treatment and prevention of such infections, but only after Dr. Fleming happened upon them. The story goes that Dr. Fleming left a messy workstation one Friday after a busy week researching some Staphylococcus, and those cultures were left in a stack in his office. When he returned, he found that one of the cultures had been contaminated by a fungus. Gross, you might say, but hold on. While the colonies of Staphylococcus immediately surrounding the fungus had been destroyed, the other Staphylococcus colonies farther away were normal. He identified the mold as being from the genus Penicillium and after months of research released it to the world as penicillin in 1929. After the Fleming team had developed a method of purifying penicillin to an effective and stable form in 1940, several clinical trials ensued, and their amazing success inspired the team to develop methods for mass production and mass distribution in 1945. Today penicillin is used to treat dozens of ailments, including blood poisoning, diphtheria, gonorrhea, pneumonia, scarlet fever, strep throat, and syphilis. Furthermore, Fleming's discovery was the start of modern antibiotics research, a science that to this day has absolutely saved more than a billion lives. John Harrington, inventor of the flush toilet. You may laugh, but one of the most important physical inventions of the past millennia is the flush toilet and the author, Sir John Harrington, is credited with being the first ever to invent the flush toilet. Having devised the Ajax system and installed it in his manor in Kelston, England around 1591. The forerunner to the modern flush toilet, the Ajax was a primitive design, but clearly the modern commode's predecessor. The term John is thought by some to be a reference to its inventor, but this etymology is unproven. The United Nations estimates that 2.5 billion people do not have access to safe, clean toilets. Around 15% of the world today lives without one, and most who go without are forced to defecate in the open. Where there are no clean toilets, diarrhea is the second largest killer of children under 5, trailing only respiratory infection. The Center for Disease Control estimates that diarrheal diseases kill 800,000 children yearly and are responsible for one of every nine child deaths worldwide. Extrapolating from that, it's easy to make the case that water.org states on their website, no other invention has saved more lives. Edward Jenner, inventor of vaccines. Edward Jenner is often referred to as the father of immunology, and for good reason. The 18th century British scientist and physician is credited with pioneering vaccine technology. While most folks were looking for cures to the deadly disease, Jenner found a different path. Legend has it, Jenner observed that among all walks of life, it was only milkmaids, the ladies that milked the cows, that never contracted the disease. Investigating a cause as to why this perplexing phenomenon was occurring, he found that milkmaids were infected with a different ailment named cowpox, a much less lethal cousin of smallpox, and that once the milkmaids had cowpox run through their immune systems, the deadly disease was no longer an issue for them. Armed with this knowledge, Jenner developed a treatment that infected people with cowpox instead, essentially protecting them against the more severe and harmful smallpox disease. He published his findings in 1796 in his work Inquiry into the Variole Vaccinae, known as the cowpox. The name vaccine itself comes from the Latin root vacca, meaning cow. In 2002, he was named in the BBC's list of the 100 Greatest Britons. It is not entirely unlikely that vaccinations have prevented enough deadly diseases to have saved the lives of over a billion people. 
Norman Borlaug, inventor of dwarf wheat. Bread is life, and no one is more responsible for the curation of that life in recent memory than the agriculturalist Norman Borlaug. Dr. Borlaug led initiatives across the world, and none were more successful or impactful than his research and development in wheat. See, the problems with wheat are many. It's prone to disease, it takes up a lot of space, and it's top heavy by harvesting time, so it sometimes goes bad in the fields. Borlung developed semi-dwarf, high-yield, disease-resistant dwarf wheat varieties that took up less space, were less prone to infection, and didn't collapse under its own weight thanks to being shorter stocked than traditional wheat varieties. Thanks to the man called the father of the Green Revolution, Mexico went from food insecurity to a net exporter of wheat in five years' time. India's wheat crop increased from 11 million tons to 60 million tons annually after Dr. Borlung's wheat varieties were introduced. Dr. Borlung won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1970 in recognition of his contributions to world peace through increasing food supply. By the time he died at the age of 95 in 2009, Dr. Borlung and the Green Revolution were credited with saving 1 billion lives thanks to those innovations. We're closing in on the top spot, and only one inventor yet remains. But we'd like to hear from you. What inventors and innovators do you think we missed that could qualify for our list? Leave your entries in the comments. Fritz Haber, inventor of synthetic fertilizer. We bet you didn't pick this one as the inventor who saved the most lives. But Fritz Haber's inventions, specifically with the Haber-Bosch process, cannot be understated. Throughout the 19th century, the demand for nitrates and ammonia for use as fertilizers and industrial feed had been steadily increasing, and previous methods of synthesization were expensive and inefficient. The Haber method, developed by the German chemist in 1910, utilized a metal catalyst and became the standard to synthesize ammonia for nitrogen plant fertilizer on an industrial scale. In 1918, Haber won the Nobel Prize for chemistry thanks to his research and innovations. Now it's not all sunshine and plant growth. Although the Haber process is mainly used to produce fertilizer today, during World War I, it provided Germany with a source of ammonia for the production of explosives. Haber is also considered the father of chemical warfare for his years of pioneering work developing and weaponizing chlorine and other poisonous gases during World War I. Even today, he is one of the most controversial figures in science due to his innovations both good, bad, and neutral. But with the annual world production of synthetic nitrogen fertilizer at more than 100 million tons and the food base of half of the current world population based on the same unchanged Haber-Bosch process innovated more than a century ago, it's likely that Fritz Haber is the inventor responsible for saving the most lives. That concludes our list of the top 8 inventors that saved the most lives. If you enjoyed this video, please do us a favor and give it a like, a comment, a share, and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time on The Biggest.